That wrestling is a really big deal in the state of Iowa, and many will be making their way down to the well this morning to watch that take place. Our Natalie Painter is there this morning with more on how you can not just watch wrestling, but also honor a local hero. Yeah, Jody, you're exactly right. Over at the Iowa Hall of Pride, they are honoring Tony Bimineo with a memorial. Now, Tony was a Des Moines police officer and a state wrestling champion. We're about five and a half years away from the night Tony and Justin Martin were both murdered. Um, it's it's a weight that uh, gets a little lighter, you know, carrying around as time goes on, but it's always there. And, and Tony's presence is something that I think is as strong today as it was when he was still alive. Um, it's a great honor that uh, the Hall of Pride is doing this because I think it's a way for him to continue to impact um, the people that he cared about and the wrestling family. In 1996, Tony Bimineo won the 3A Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. And in November 2016, he was ambushed and killed on the job along with an Urbandale officer. Now, the exhibit shares photos and memorabilia from his careers and with his family. Now, Tony's impact on every community he was involved with continues to be remembered. Uh, I knew Tony uh, as an athlete um, from a distance. Uh, I was an athletic director at another school in the conference where Tony uh, competed. So I got to watch him compete and I got to, you know, I got to see the respect that he paid to his coaches and to his uh, uh, opponents and to officials. Now the exhibit will be up for another week. Um, and there is also other state wrestling memorabilia over at the Iowa Hall of Pride, Jody. I love that they're taking a chance to honor uh, Officer Bimineo and all that he did, uh, both outside the police department and in our community. Thanks so much, Natalie.